We're going to make sesame seed and chia seed crackers. You can substitute the chia seeds for rice flour or any other gluten-free flour, but I like to use the chia seeds to avoid having starch in the crackers. So it's a full protein type cracker. So the first thing that we do is to soak the chia seeds. So we have half a cup of chia seeds and half a cup of water. Now they do actually start to swell after just a very short space of time. So the chia seeds do start to thicken up quite quickly. So you can see they've actually got quite gluggy already. This is the glue that we're going to use to make the crackers stick together. Another seed that works good as a glue is your flax seed, the linseeds. So I'm already going to add my liquids now, which is three eggs. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of vegetable oil. or you can use macadamia oil. And you can see the chia seeds have actually almost set, so I just want to mix that in so that we have got a liquid medium. And the rest of the recipe is really simple. It's just a matter of adding one packet, one 250 gram packet of sesame seeds or you can, of course, measure out that it's about two cups of sesame seeds. Two heat teaspoons or a tablespoon of a spice blend. This is the True Vitality, Vitality Spice Blend. Actually, I'll throw in three. Uh, or you can just use any spices that you like and about a half teaspoon of salt. Mix that all together. If your mixture ends up being too runny, you can add a few more sesame seeds. If it ends up being a bit too dry, then you can add a little touch more oil. But generally that combination works well. Make sure that you're mixing your uh, spices in well. You can also just use some simple parsley, oregano, thyme, or you can even just leave it plain, have a bit of salt or a tablespoon of tamari, which is a wheat-free soy sauce. So you can see that's all coming together nicely and sticking well together. So we're just going to pop that onto a baking tray. I have got it lined with some kitchen paper, some baking paper. That just makes it very easy to turn over when we need to turn them over. I like to spread the mixture out a little bit to start with by putting just blobs around. That makes it easier to spread. Otherwise you're trying to work it from one end to the other. And then just with the back of the spoon, just spread it out evenly over your tray. Try not to leave any holes. So it's nice and flat. And we just pop that into an oven which has been preheated to 200 degrees and we're going to bake that for about 15 minutes until it's nice and golden and a little bit crispy. So now it's time to take the uh, sesame and chia seed crackers out of the oven. They've been in there for about 15 minutes. See it's quite a nice golden colour. Just grab that, 
Flip it over. Take off your paper. Now the paper does come off quite easily, so that's why I like to grab the paper and the cracker mix in one go. And then this is where you actually then cut it to size. So you get yourself a nice sharp knife. And just crunch down to whatever size you like. If you want to make it into a bread, then you can make it into bigger, bigger pieces or smaller ones for little crackers. They pop back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes until they're nice and crunchy. At the moment there's still a little bit of pliability about them. We want them nice and crunchy. Now we have our finished product of our sesame and chia seed crackers. You can see that they're nice and crunchy and you can put on to them anything you like. Uh, such as your pumpkin cashew dips or some avocado with some sliced tomatoes, some tuna, salmon, whatever you like.